my area of research uh, encompasses quite a broad scope in the emergency department. I study everything from pain management to uh, adverse outcomes in children seen in the emergency department uh, to the management of asthma, bronchiolitis and croup, and also specifically musculoskeletal injuries. And I think it's in the management of musculoskeletal injuries that probably a lot of my research has had the most direct patient uh, benefit and change to the way we provide care in the emergency department. So one area that I am um, quite proud of having done research in is in the area of wrist buckle fractures. And buckle fractures are a kind of injury that only children get. Because their bones are softer, they are more easily compressed or buckled so they get kind of squished from a fall for example off a of monkey bars or a trip off the sidewalk and falling on an outstretched arm. So uh, with that kind of injury we used to always typically cast the kids from their um, hands all the way up to their elbows or sometimes even above and they'd be stuck in this cast for three to four to five weeks. They wouldn't be able to swim, they wouldn't be able to do their activities, their arms would get very smelly, their parents would have to come back to the eMERGE because they stuck a pencil underneath the cast, things like that. And then they'd have to go to the orthopedic clinic to have the cast cut off which is loud and noisy and a bit scary for some children. And um, so I decided to see whether we really truly needed to cast these kinds of fractures because it seemed to me that we probably didn't need to. So I talked to one of our orthopedic surgeons here, Dr. Lawton, and I thought he described it perfectly. He said, really, I think these kids just need bumper pads. So we decided to test whether putting the child in a splint or a bumper pad was um, uh, better than putting them in a full cast, and better in the sense, did they return to function sooner? Did they get back to sports sooner? To make sure they didn't have more pain than those kids who were in a cast, and to make sure they had no higher risk of refracturing that bone in the future. So um, we took about 100 odd children and rolled them in the study. Half of them got cats, half of them got the splint. And then we looked out how they did. And the kids who got the splints, most of them had taken them off by about two weeks and had stopped wearing them more than maybe 25% of the time. By three weeks, no kids were wearing them. They all got returned to sports and other activities much faster. And all of those who were offered a splint over cast, the vast majority preferred to have a splint versus a cast. I am um, yeah, very proud of this study. I think that it's a small intervention and a small change that has wide repercussions. And you might say, well, what's three or six weeks? Well, to a child, three or six weeks is a really long time. And when you're not able to do your activities that you would usually do in the summer or in March break or things, I think it's a, a big deal. And I think I'm very proud of this because I think it's improved patient outcomes, parent outcomes, and healthcare outcomes.